Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through a full face routine. You definitely don't need to do every step, but this is just a really full coverage, full face routine. I start off with applying my Murad Oil Control Mattifier all over my face, and then follow that with the Murad Matte Finish Primer. And then I go over all of my skin, buffing it in with Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation. I love it. It stays put all day, and I've got oily skin. Um, I also never have to touch it up. It's a long wear foundation. It's beautiful for photographs. I love it for bridal, and I use it on myself every day as well. And I'm just buffing it in everywhere. And then I'm taking MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, and I actually like to mix NW20 and NW25 um, and pat that under my eyes and then blend it in with a brush. And this is actually a brush from Luxie Lush, and I actually love it. I'm also taking it down the areas where I want to highlight, which is the center of my forehead, down the very center of my nose, and um, kind of on my chin as well. And then this is optional, but I'm taking the Tarte, um, the Sculptor Contouring Face Slenderizer, and I'm kind of penciling in the areas that I want to use for contouring. And this is kind of like step one in building up contour. Um, I'm going to use a few different mediums, and this is the first one I'm using. You don't need to do this. It is a little difficult if you're a beginner, so you can skip it and just go straight to powdering for contouring. But I just wanted to show you guys how you can add another level. There I am looking kind of crazy. So then I'm just blending that all into my skin, trying to keep it in the areas where I actually placed it and not move it around too much. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush and go down the nose area. And when you contour your nose, you kind of want to contour a little bit narrower than your actual nose is. Um, it just helps to kind of sculpt it and make it look nice and narrow. If you have a long nose, I kind of have a little bit of a longer tip. And that's why I took the dark part at the bottom, um, or actually the tip if you will, and I actually moved it up a little bit to make my nose look shorter. And now I'm taking Anastasia Beverly Hills Havana Powder um, with a really small uh, tapering brush from Luxie Lush and I'm going over the areas that I contoured and then I'm taking the Anastasia Banana Powder which is a nice um, light color. It's actually really really nice for olive skin and I'm going over the areas that I want to highlight. Um, I'm also just defining the nose a little bit more with this paint kind of brush from Morphe Brushes. And then for the temples, I'm just using a bigger brush. So now to make this look more like skin, I'm actually going to set everything with a powder and I'm using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I like doing this after I've contoured because it just kind of helps to blend it all together so there's no harsh lines and it looks more like defined skin. So kind of go around, buff everything in. And then for the nose, I like to go up and down the center and then down from the um, contoured areas down the sides so I don't blend it in together too much. But I definitely want to try to eliminate those harsh lines. And don't forget to also do the neck because this is the widest area, it doesn't get to see as much sun and so you definitely want to bring your either your bronzer or your powder down. Then I'm following with MAC Launch Away Blush. You can use any blush. I don't really like too much color so I'm just using a soft tint right here. And then I'm following it with MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter um, just to give me a little bit of a dewy glow. And I'm oily so I don't like to use too much of this and I'm just going to keep it there on the height of my cheeks. And then for lips I want to keep it soft so I'm using MAC Etc. Lip Liner. And then filling that in with Dose of Color Poise. It's a beautiful nude lipstick. And then Gerard Cosmetics Nude Lip Gloss. And I've got a code down below for you to get 25% off. And there's the final look. You definitely don't need to do this for an everyday wear, but I love full coverage makeup, and that's that. Thanks for watching so much, you guys. Comment below if you have any questions or special requests. I love you all. Bye!